Good evening. Uh, I thought I would do uh, just a general uh, update uh, video. I haven't posted uh, videos for a few weeks now. Um, and uh, I just wanted to make sure that uh, you knew I hadn't bowed out or anything like that. <clears throat> Unfortunately, my dad died recently and um, I, I obviously had to take a back seat uh, in terms of uh, hobbying uh, in order to sort everything out and um, get through that. Um, and then, uh, unfortunately, my uh, uncle died uh, two weeks ago, so it's not been a, a great time. Um, but I have been doing uh, a few li little bits and pieces in the background. I just haven't had time to um, put them on, on film. Um, so I thought I'd just do a, a, a quick little uh, uh, general update on, on what I've been getting, getting up to in the last few weeks. Um, and I've got loads of uh, unboxing videos and uh, looking at a few bits and pieces to do. Uh, I have done a couple, but I haven't had uh, the time to um, put them together and upload them but uh, most of them I'm still to do. So um, you can see um, in front of you there that I've um, uh, started getting a, a British Napoleonic army. I've got a large French uh, army which is currently back in the loft as I run out of space in my uh, what I euphemistically call my office um, and I always intended to get uh, something to go up against them so um, I finally got around to uh, getting a, a British army. So I've got some unboxing videos to do in due course. Uh, so I'm going to look at the uh, the Perry British Infantry. Um, oh, whilst I was there I got uh, some Chasseur Cheval, uh, which I think is one of the new, newer kits from Warlord, from a French. Uh, I've got some uh, Warlord British Infantry. <coughs> I got uh, the Household Brigade Cavalry and the Union. Um, these have still got the seals on, I haven't even opened these. Uh, I've only had them in the last couple of weeks. I've got some Perry uh, Light Dragoons and some Perry British Hussars. I've got um, the Waterloo uh, British Infantry uh, from Victrix, the flank and the centre companies. I've got um, some Highlanders, flank and centre companies. I've got the um, British Peninsula flank and centre. These were a mistake actually. Um, I ordered the Waterloo uh, kits, the two of them, um, but they sent the these ones instead by mistake. Um, so rather than send them back, they offered me um, a little bit of discount if I bought them as well. So they sent the uh, the Waterloo stuff, and I kept these, and I got these for um, about six quid cheaper than they are normally. Um, but that was a bit of a mistake, but uh, I'm sure I can uh, sneak these into my um, uh, European or French um, British Army. Um, I've got... Oh, there's the centre company. Um, so, the, yeah, this is uh, obviously a newer printing because it's in the bag rather than the box. And uh, I've got uh, British uh, Napoleonic artillery. I've got a few um, uh, unboxings to do on uh, some Perry metals. I haven't opened those yet. Um, so, what we've got, these are for, for my. Uh, British stuff. So I've got uh, oh, some rifles. Oh, I've also got the um, uh, the Warlord 95th rifles, plastics. Uh, these are some metal rifles, so uh, officers and stuff. I've got some Hanoverian guns because I've got a few battalions of Hanoverians I've already painted up. Uh, so I've got some some artillery um, and other bits and pieces. So I'll be looking at those. Uh, I've got some some books to look at, so I uh, had some. Uh, I popped into um, uh, what's it called, the works in town. Um, always going there uh, every few weeks and see what they've got. So I've got some sniper stuff. So we've got a modern uh, sniper, and then we've got two um, female sniper books from uh, the Russian army. So I'll have a quick look at those. Um, 
I've got uh, uh, some uh, little big man uh, shield transfers. So I've got a load of Viking uh, transfers. I've got the Germanic Warriors. Um, I don't know if I've looked at the Germanic Warriors yet. I um, can't recall off the top of my head, but uh, if not, I'll be looking at those. Uh, I've got the Saxons, the new um, Victrix Saxons coming. Uh, they're on uh, on pre-order at the moment, so I'm hoping they'll be out any day uh, soon. Um, so we've got the German, Germanic Vikers, we've got um, Vikings, Gallic Cavalry, uh, Celtic Shields, the Celtics, Germanics, oh I've got some Napoleonic stuff. So we've got um, the old uh, water carriers and the backpack uh, stickers and uh, rank badges um, from a British uh, these, oh, these are for the Saxons, so these are brand new, uh, just out. Uh, the figures aren't out yet. Um, well, I've got some uh, some shields for the Saxons, so I'll be looking at those. And uh, only today I got uh, this through the post, so this has just been published. Uh, you may remember I did a, I had a look at uh, Volume One last year, which was um, um, creating a war games lab for winter stuff. Um, this is the second volume by Pat Smith, uh, and this is looking at uh, building a Mediterranean uh, gaming table and scenery. So I'll be having a quick look at, uh, at that as well. So I only came today. I did enjoy the uh, the first one. Um, made a few bits and pieces from that book. So I'm looking forward to uh, digging into this if I get any more uh, spare time. Um, I've got. I'll have a look at um, a load more 3D plastic printed stuff. I've got about 50 or 60 um, brand new ones that I'm currently waiting to photograph and put on the website. So I'll have a look at those. Um, I'm. Uh, I'm also um, looking at a range of uh, uh, buildings, uh, 3D printed buildings. Uh, so I'll be looking at uh, some of those that I've, uh, I've printed out uh, are very nice. So these will uh, make their way to the um, Paint and Glue Miniatures website for sale in due course. Again, when I get time to um, uh, photograph them and put them on the website. So I'll be looking at those. So there's um, there's lots, lots in hand. Um, and... Uh, as time permits, over the next few weeks, I shall be knocking out a few more videos and get back into the groove uh, after that little enforced break that I had to take. So, that's all from me. Uh, thanks very much for watching.